So once you take the yarn off of the Nitty Knotty, be prepared that you have all of your ties on and in place because it will become kind of a kinky mass. All that energy that you spun into the yarn is now set free. So gently put it into the water. You can just allow it to float on the top of the water. It will gain, it will start getting soaked through and then go into the water or you can push it down. You'll see that once it hits the water, that does relax it. And I normally let mine soak for about 15-20 minutes until it's fully saturated. After it's done, take it out, press the excess water out gently, and I often do this by rolling it into a towel and then walking on the towel, and that'll get all the extra water out. So now you've got your damp, dry yarn that you've soaked and then you've rolled up in a towel to get all the excess moisture out. So now what you want to do is redistribute the twist. If you think about it, there's once you spin something, there's areas that are going to be tighter spun, or tighter, tighter plied, and then areas that are going to be loosely plied. And what you want to do is kind of even that all out. Um, I've heard of people doing something that they call a thwack, where they take it and they take the entire loop and bang it up against a wall, a smooth wall, you know, but, and that promotes some fulling and redistributes it. But what I like to do is a snap. So I just put my hands through the loop and I give it a good snap. Then I go one quarter of the way. You can use your ties as a reference if you've got four ties on there. And again, a quick snap. Again, one quarter of the way. A quick snap and a final snap. Now that just redistributes the ply evenly throughout the skein. And now this yarn is ready to dry. So I just loop it over the back of a hanger and in nice weather you can hang it outdoors. If it's uh, damp and chill or rainy you can hang it in your shower somewhere where if the water does tend to drip off the end it won't ruin anything. So that's it. So the last thing we'll do after this is learn to twist it into a skein. And you've got your beautiful hand spun yarn. Good job, you guys. Once your yarn is dry, you're going to twist it into a skein. The way that I do it is I put one hand going through the loop one direction, the other hand going through the loop in the other direction, and I twist one side, then the other until this is nice and tightly twisted. Then I fold it in half and let it just go ahead and twist into the skein. And at the end, I'll put one loop through the inside of another loop to secure it. And there you go. You've got a pretty skein of hand spun. Now to, um, if you want to photograph it or have it be pretty, you can take your ties and just tuck them in so that they're not visible and your yarn's ready for its glamour shot nice work spinners what are you going to spin next